Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs if you want, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Alright, Sagis, let's see what's going on for you second half of November. And we have balancing the scales. All right, that's actually a very positive card to get as the overall energy. This is like the justice card. Okay, so it, do it does talk about um, balance coming into play, justice being served, things just really working out, karma resolving, all of that kind of good stuff. So let's get into this and see. What is going on with Sagittarius? Second half of November. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, for the situation, we have the Strength card crossed by the Nine of Cups. All right, the recent past, the Moon, near future, the Three of Pentacles. In your energy, we have the Emperor. For them, the Four of Wands. More about you is the world. More about them is the Six of Wands. And the potential outcome here is the Ace of Cups. Okay, I don't even want to clarify. Everything just looks so freaking good. All right, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, because I do feel like, you know, there is, somebody is working on their strength here. I feel like somebody is building up courage for a particular situation here. Some of you might be dealing with Leo. We also have um, Aries showing up, Pisces. And yeah, I feel like we do have a bit of fire as well. Um, but could definitely be any sign that you're dealing with. So yeah, somebody is trying to build up their courage, but, but I feel like in the process, it feels like um, pleasure is what is actually being being sacrificed in a way, in some way or another at the moment, all right? Somebody um, having a hard time really reaching their wish or reaching what it is that would give them pleasure or a sense of fulfillment. I feel like in the past there was a lot of, there was either some fear that the two of you encountered in this connection or there was just, certain things just felt mysterious. Things possibly were being hidden, there were secrets maybe. But we'll see. Um, for you, you're standing strong. You're standing strong. I feel like you're trying to take control over your own self and at the same time it does feel like there is some kind of a completion here like a completion of a cycle that you are in i'm not so sure that it's with this person although it could be we'll see when we clarify um for them with the four of wands and the six of wands there's some um a, a huge drive here for success Especially success when it comes to feeling stable and secure within a connection, within, within this commitment. And I feel like coming up there is some kind of a compromise or some kind of a teamwork between the two of you and then in the potential outcome, I mean, we have the Ace of Cups, so that's beautiful. That's, that's pure love right there. So yeah, and you know, I don't, if you've been following me for a while, you know I don't <laughs> sugarcoat things. Um, I oftentimes do... Um, say some pretty, you know, like realistic, but a little negative energy is coming through. So yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Strength with the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> and I do feel like um, that's the whole point of doing readings, right? Is to see what it is that that needs to be worked on or, you know, what can be resolved, you know, getting a realistic um, picture, overall picture of the situation, not just, you know, talking about the beautiful things that are coming in. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. 
Okay, see, so there we go. <laughs> There's that bit of um, negative energy that is um, in the current situation. There is a sense of somebody feeling alone here. Um, but whoever this is, and I feel like it, it probably is the, the both of you kind of feeling feeling that coldness of not being 100% here together. But both of you have this longing to be together. Both of you have the longing to be to be united. And because of that, there's a lot of stress. So that's why there is it's like somebody is trying to work on their on their courage here, on their strength in order to make this work. And, and the reasons could be different for each of you. All right. But. Yeah, overall things at the moment, right, it, it feels like pleasure and fulfillment is being compromised or is being sacrificed because somebody needs to build up their strength for something. So yeah, at the moment it is that, you know, there's, there's a sense of either abandonment or rejection or just feeling alone and this actually creates a lot of anxiety and, and stress and I feel like this is actually the both of you because you both want to be together. So let's see, um, yeah, I'm not going to focus on the past. Let's see the Emperor for your energy. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're moving towards towards a particular commitment here. I feel like you're you're taking control. You're really wanting to get on the right path here when it comes to a particular commitment, whatever in whatever way you feel is right. Um, I will get back to this. Let me just see this world here, trying to figure this out. Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So I can never remember if I say that in the beginning or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. All right. um, the Ace of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. And then we also have the Page of Wands and the Ten of Wands. All right. All right, well, this is, this is interesting. I feel like you are, you're actually completing a cycle here within your own self and it does relate to this person in some way. And by completing that cycle, it feels like you're trying to open up a new door. And I feel like you're trying to really be firm about that, about what it is that you are doing. And the reason why is because you feel like, you know, whatever, whatever this is um, relating to strength and somebody's strength, I feel like you feel like it has been going on for quite some time. Or... Because it doesn't necessarily have to be about that. It could even be another part, another chapter in your life that you are ready to close out. It's like you're moving towards a commitment, right? You're mo you want to move in the right way towards a commitment, but that might actually require for you to close something else out, right? A chapter in your life, w which is opening up um, another door here for you. And I feel like, yeah, you're being very, very firm about that at the moment. Like, at least you have a lot of clarity about that. I feel like you're having this, you're very motivated to put that burden down, whatever it is, and because I feel like you've been carrying it for a long time. So I'm not sure if, it, if that has to do with this person, though. But in some way it does, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that it's referring to, that, to this person that we're discussing here. So let's actually see um, their energy, because I feel like, like I said before, I feel like you both want to be together with, with this particular person. So I feel like this might be another situation, either whether it's another person or whether it's just another situation in your life. All right, let's see the four of wands. Which is in their energy. All right, we have the Hanged Man, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Wands. 
I just, I did my camera move. Why are half the cards like out of view? Really sorry about that. All right, that might be a little better. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> just got sidetracked here. Um, this person that you are dealing with Yeah, there is there is some um, movement. I feel this person is moving away from from a stagnating situation here. This person is trying to leave behind a situation. Oh, it almost feels like there there's a commitment here for them as well. Um, and again, I feel like this is, it's leading them to a little bit of conflict though. With others. So I'm not sure if this person is trying to leave behind a particular situation or just trying to move away from a stagnating situation that they really want a commitment with. Okay, if that, if that is you. Like if, um, if you're the one who... Who is having a hard time um, making things happen with this person? Like if it's kind of dependent on you. I feel like this, this person is actually wanting the commitment with you but moving away from it because they were waiting for a long time. But that is also conflicting to them because they still want this connection with you. Okay, see how things change when we clarify. <laughs> Alright, let's see the Six of Wands. For them. Ooh, the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, see, but they still want this. They still want this. They don't want to move away. Um, they just want to move away from the waiting. And that's why it's conflicting them because they, deep down, they don't want to move away from the connection with you. Some of them, it could definitely be that they have another situation as well. Um, but I'm mostly focusing on them actually keeping their distance a little bit from you. Because they've been waiting um, for you to possibly complete this chapter. That could be it. Of course, again, roles can be reversed, okay? Um, I mean, we have the Ace of Cups here showing up for them. But definitely, definitely this person... Um, really hold you in their heart. They really want this connection with you. And it's like they're really hoping for you to um, either, you know, come in or maybe they're even thinking about <laughs> just the fact that they might not be able to fully release this. All right, let's see what's coming up here because the future energies are looking pretty good. So let's see the Three of Pentacles for the near future. And we have the Nine of Pentacles and the king of pentacles. All right, so a lot of pentacles have been showing up, I think. Hmm, maybe. Um, so yeah, some of you definitely could be dealing with earth sign. But of course, as always, it can be any sign. Um, it actually feels really good here for the near future. Because it's like the two of you are working together. I feel like the two of you are compromising, but you're both coming from this space of not being attached to other things. So I feel like they're, and, and not to each other. So it, it, it feels very mature and very grounded. Yeah, because all of these are pentacles. That's why I felt like there were strong pentacles here. Um, yeah. And I do feel like whoever, if if somebody was involved in another commitment, whether it be you or them, um, I do see there being some kind of a freedom from that. Which is also kind of, you know, tying into this, being able to come together, collaborate, and work on this. All right, so let's see the Ace of Cups. What is the potential outcome here? Okay, that is... <laughs> yes. 
So sorry about that. That is the cats. Trying to destroy the camera. All right, so for the Ace of Cups, we have the Moon, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Wands. I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, yeah, we do have the Moon, so I do feel like there might be things that, that you know, you, you're still not aware of or things that, you know, still need to come up and be and be discussed, right? Things possibly from the past, right? Because we have that Moon in the past. Um, like why things happened the way they did, what was not being revealed, you know, who was kind of keeping the other person in the dark, those things will come up, right? But we have this Ace of Wands, which is all about um, a reconnection and starting again, a reigniting of this connection and the Four of Wands. I mean, that's beautiful. That's, that's stability. It can even be marriage. So yeah, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. Looking really good. So let's, um, so yeah, I can see now why we have balancing the scales as, as our very first card. Um, I do feel like there are karmic cycles closing out and things coming into, into balance, justice um, coming in for you here. All right, so if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. All right, and we have a fixed moon, hold your vision. Yeah, you know, stay on the path, hold your vision, whatever it is that you're working towards here, especially when it comes to closing out this cycle. And I feel like they're holding their vision as well because they really want this connection with you. So yeah, that is it, Sagittarius. I thank you so much for watching and much love.